Do you get nervous or anxious when gaming? If you're in a 1v1 or clutching for your team, or you're in that final circle, the heart rate spikes, your hands get all jittery and your performance tanks. Well, the comforting news is that it describes a whole lot of people, myself included, so if that sounds familiar, you're certainly not alone. Fortunately, there are a number of strategies we can use to mitigate these negatives and even use this response to our advantage. To put it simply, these situations are triggering our body's fight or flight response. Adrenaline is released, blood flows to our muscles, priming them for a burst of activity, our eyes dilate, taking in more light to assess our surroundings, our heart rate increases, so does our breathing, and our higher functioning for more complex or abstract thoughts becomes impaired. When not properly controlled, these changes can be very detrimental to our gaming performance, so what can we do about it? The easy option would be to not experience the response at all, but realistically, there isn't much you can quickly do to address this. Continually being exposed to these stressful situations can, over time, reduce their significance so they no longer elicit such a strong response, and improving your own competency can increase the threshold for what makes a situation tense or stressful, so you'd have to play a lot and get good. The significance you place on the game or gaming also plays a big role. If gaming is your only hobby and interest, the significance becomes higher. Your ego can depend on it, so you may find yourself stressing out in seemingly innocuous situations. Having other interests can help more evenly distribute that significance. For example, with gamers, weightlifting is a popular and accessible choice. Eliminating the response takes a lot of time, effort, and really you're just increasing that threshold. So let's look at what we can do to instantly improve the way we deal with it and even use it to our advantage. During the stress response, our higher functioning is impaired, so grand ideas of strategy or more abstract concepts like, I'm afraid of what my teammates will think of me if I lose this fight, or if I lose I'm going to drop down a rank, are distracting and useless. When the adrenaline is flowing, you need to focus on what will get you through the next few seconds, not the next few minutes. Broadly speaking, in gaming, between fight or flight, you always need to choose fight. This is more of a mindset than anything else, and it's a very important distinction. If you choose flight, you're just sitting in your chair playing the game, there's nowhere to go and you'll just freeze up and choke. The mindset of fight lets you take advantage of your heightened senses and faster reaction time for a short boost to your mechanical and fundamental gameplay. To clarify, in this context, fight doesn't mean you just rambo in and play aggressively, it means you are taking control of the situation. That could still be running away for dear life, but instead of freezing up, you're assessing the situation, considering your options and executing. For FPS games, this mindset boils down to positioning, aim, and ability or utility usage if applicable. For positioning, we're worried about the here and now, so basics like using high ground, cover, and not re-peaking angles. Aim can be a little more tricky. On one hand, we have enhanced reaction time and blood flow for quick movements, but things might feel shaky and uncontrollable. To combat this, remember to take deep breaths. Your heart rate has spiked, and while you're physically not doing anything demanding, your body is craving oxygen to fuel this response. If you're holding your breath or have shallow breathing, the shakiness and mentally blanking will only get worse. Aim may also become erratic, which is a separate issue to breathing. This comes down to rushing things, which can be a natural response to the adrenaline. You're getting ahead of yourself. Your perception may feel like everything is fast forwarded, but it's important to remember that you're still playing the same game. The pacing is the same as always. Along with the deep breaths, remember to play deliberately. That enemy is strafing at the same speed as always. You don't need to rapidly flick all over the place to track them. As for abilities and utility, simply remember that they exist, and to use them if it's appropriate. If anyone is familiar with Hardcore Classic WoW, well, where if you die you delete your character, you'll notice that painfully often when people have that panicked flight response, they can let themselves die while still having so many tools left at their disposal. To put all this together, when you experience a stressful situation, this is the process you should follow. First, as soon as you notice that spike, Take a deep breath and keep breathing. Second, assume the fight mindset. Take control, abandon grand or abstract ideas and focus on the now. Third, assess your options like fighting, running and abilities or utility. 
Before long, you can start to associate this stress response as a positive thing. When you feel that spike, you know it's time to clutch up and make some plays. And finally, a bonus tip if you're in comms and struggling to get a handle on the response is to use undeserved overt confidence. You're the last one alive, all the pressure is on you to clutch out, so to diffuse the tension, you can say something like, okay, I'm just gonna play perfectly and land every shot, I reckon. If you die, the contrast is funny, and if you get a kill or manage to clutch out, it's this amazing moment and a big morale boost. Plus, even if you're just joking around, overtly confident comments do a good job of getting you into that fight mindset. Click join below to see the perks you can receive for supporting the channel by becoming a member. Managing the stress response is only half the battle. It's crucial to have strong game sense to instinctively know what to do without having to think about it. To learn the fastest way to improve it, check out this video here. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.